we're going to walk through the inside leg hang today. Inside leg hangs, I feel, are one of those moves that a lot of people kind of glass over because they want to get to the more advanced moves, and they're never fully comfortable in it, but they never take the time to get comfortable. But in reality, as you get into more advanced combos, if you're not comfortable in those leg hangs, you take away your rest, <laughs> and that's what we're doing in those oftentimes. You should be able to get into it and just go <sighs> and breathe. But if you're struggling and don't feel comfortable in it, you're going to exhaust yourself a lot sooner when you start doing full full combos. So let's look at first just the positioning from the ground. So from the ground, I go up on my tippy toes. I'm going to push my hips up and get the pull squished right in here between my hip and my rib. Depending on your body length, your distance might be different. I have a very long torso, so plenty of room. And then from here, keeping the hips up, I'm going to bring that inside leg around the pole. Okay? If it's in this squishy spot right here, I should be able to just let this leg go. And it stays pretty locked. Okay? There's variations in the positioning of this leg. You can have it tight, so there's a space. Or sometimes people will go leg hang and it's more extended like this and it's up on the ankle a little bit more, okay? So this is your positioning of where this is going to be. My hip bones are pointing straight up, okay? So then now, when we look at it from an invert from standing, we're going to find that same position. When I invert, I want to think about pulling my chest up and I want my body to be as close to a 90-ish as I can, my butt on one side and my boobs on the other. Okay. If your body is going straight up and down the pole, and instead of the pole going here, you feel it going here on your ribs, you're not going to feel secure because it's not going to sink in on your ribs. It's just going to hurt. So if I go hook that inside leg, slide my hands down. Oops, I'm turning. And as I slide, this arm is going back and basically holding the pole. Okay. But if you look at it from the side, my butt is on that side, and my chest is on this side. If I sink down, I suddenly don't feel so secure. So think of, as you get into the leg hang, think about your chest lifting and your arms swimming through. Okay? So hip bones are relatively square. Pole should be going perpendicular to your body. So your body's going this way, the pole's going this way. If it's going the same direction as your body, A, it's going to hurt, and B, you're not going to feel for, feel very secure. Um, for a lot of people, they're afraid to let go of their hands. Truth of the matter is, work on letting go of that inside arm and feel this hold. So as you swim your arm back, it's like a, it's like a hand hold right there. Okay, so you want to be able to feel that when you go into your inside leg hang. So, invert, inside leg comes around, make sure that the pole is going perpendicular, that inside arm swims back. So if you don't feel comfortable releasing both hands, start with just the one. I'm kind of sliding back from a flat line into it, so you can see here, so I can do it slow so you can see. Oops, my hand drops, slide, I feel it hook in here, and then I can slide all the way down to take that arm back into my inside leg. 